Hello everyone, this is Phoenix Animator. Hi, I'm Froggy Lumpy. Welcome back to Dire Wolf 20's 1.10.2, episode 13. And I can't get over I'm sorry, but you know, every time you wave, you're you're <laughs> yeah, you it go. just There you go. <laughs> it just it just looks so funny. Anyway, I wanted to start up here because I wanted to show I went out in the world. Uh, because I had said that I want to start Batania, so I had to go out in the world all over the place and look for Batania flowers. That is a major, major change. You used to go out in the world and there's Batania flowers all over the place. Uh -huh. Apparently somebody with clout complained about that or something because I went out in the world and I'm going, uh, where's the Batania flowers? I've, I've got flowers of all kinds, but... Oh, there's a Batania flower. Let me grab that. <laughs> oh, there's another two or three. I mean, there was only like one or two times that I had bunches. And I was out there for several days. Minecraft days, of course. Huh. I don't know. It's, it, was, it was crazy. But I was able to get all of the flowers except for one. Uh-oh. Um, one of them I'm missing. Now, if you've watched our videos um, in the past, I've done a Let's Learn Batania. Yep. So mm -hmm. everybody knows that I think the first thing you do is make a flower pouch, which yep. I've done, uh, obviously, before I went out. Of course, and you made now, a new one. Flower I pouch! Did, and that's one of the changes that, that they made. Um, I, it used to be that you had to make your own flower pouch, but now you can make flower pouches for your friends. So that's Yay. really cool. Uh, one of the other changes is I'm... Um, hovering over the flower pouch and there's a question mark with control if i hit control it will do that little green thing and absolutely open up my uh lexia batania from um the fact that i was doing the flower pouch so now it'll bring it into the flower pouch and it will tell you all about the flower pouch and how to make the flower pouch which is simple just wool and a mystical petal and thankfully I had something I don't remember what it was that I had run across before um, so that's one of the new changes is the fact that you can um, on different things you can hit the you'll see control and you can do this in your JEI as well there is also this I'm over the black lotus here and there's this question mark shift so let's do shift oh what does this say? Rare loot that can make more mana. Um, which is exactly what a Black Lotus does. Yep. Um, I come up here to the Petal Apothecary. I hit, hit shift it. And this it tells you that what you use to make flowers. Now, why it has eight pieces of paper here, I don't know. Eight pieces of paper <clears throat> is how many pages... Oh, it tells you uh, that's how in many the petal. pages is in the petal apothecary. So if yep. I clicked on it, there would be eight pages here. Oh, okay, fabulous. Yep, that's what that means. And to make the petal apothecary, obviously, um, that is cobblestone slabs and a petal that has not changed. So, first thing you do in Batania, of course, actually the first thing you do is you should make the Lexi Batania which is simply any sampling and a book. So that is what I did to make the Alexia Batania. Uh, something else that's new, you can put the Alexia Batania in an anvil and you can rename it and, and it will change the cover as well. Now I do not know what happens when that, you know, when you do that, because I haven't, obviously I have not done it, but that's another change. Um, when you open the book and go back to the beginning, there's these new little things down here, Batania. Um, you can configure Batania from in-game, um, some of the options. Um, might, you might need a, a game restart. You also have Batania achievements. If you click this, you'll see all of the achievements. And on this seat, you can see that I have already made the Batania. Um, I've already picked up a mystical flower, so I've already gotten these um, I've also already made a Indo flame, so I've gotten that. Um, I've also already made a uh, mana tablet, so I've gotten that. Um, I have not. That's the only thing I've actually done here. 
Um, but anyway, if you wanted to do your achievements, you could. If you wanted to do some challenges, there's also challenges here that range from, from easy to a lunatic. Um, and you can just click on any one of them and it says create an automated farm of six to all 16 colors of Batania and bonus points if the flowers are sorted. And then you just mark that completed. Um, mark not completed. What? That's okay. So apparently it's on the honor scale too because I did not do that. Uh, although a mana battery. Create a mana battery. Okay, I'm, I'm going to stop reading all this stuff. I'm getting off topic here. Um, there, are, there are quite a few new things. One of the things that I thought was really cool, um, by the way, uh, we got the Sky Stone Chest. Cool. Uh, because I was out and about and found a few, uh, uh, yeah, meteors. And so I decided to go ahead and grind into them. So I two of them actually so I brought us each a skystone chest back and cool. I made a glow shroom terrarium that's from biomes of plenty there are these funny looking glow shrooms that you can't do anything with really um, except for making mushroom soup right and making a terrarium you hmm. make the terrarium by doing um, upside down pants in your crafting bench uh -huh. um, that makes three jars I think it's three because I used, yeah, I have one here, one empty jar. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it'd be three because I made two of those terrariums. One I used stone and the other one I used granite. I was trying to see if the if the stone would look different, but it doesn't. Both, both of them look like stone. I was hoping one would look like granite, but it doesn't. But anyway, that's that's uh, something from Biomes of Plenty. Cool. Now let's go downstairs. There is so much. It's there is just a lot. I mean, oh. Uh, Let's come over here to the. Let's come over here to the area that I have designated my Batania area. Okay, I have in my Let's Learn Batania. I show how to make a petal apothecary. I make a pure daisy. Um, I make a, what did you call? I don't know what you call that flower now. I forgot. Day bloom and night bloom. They're not in here. Exactly. That's what I was getting to. Yep. Um. They're not in here. That has been removed completely. God. So you start out, instead of with your day blooms and night blooms, no, the water. you start out with the hydrangeas that will decay, or you go with the endoflame, endo which flame. means you need to throw charcoal or coal on it, and it will then give you your mana. Um, and obviously, sticks. Did you just throw sticks on there? Yep. Oh my gosh, I didn't know sticks worked. Yep. But Anything burnable except for like buckets of lava. And obviously that did not last long. Didn't give you very much mana, so I use uh, I use charcoal. Um, no, it I doesn't. Made up, I made up a bunch uh, of charcoal. Um, harvest the trees, make the charcoal, and then you, and then I block the charcoal because it'll last longer. I don't know, but that's what I did. Cool. So and I also made us all. Uh, all like there's lots of us. all of us you you and me is all um the uh w wanda of yeah okay it is one of the forest i was thinking of those other ones that you can make so the wand of the forest is just tap click this and it'll tell you how much is in your mana pool click your your end of flames it'll tell you how much is in that right click your mana spreader it'll tell you how much is in that if you shift right click you can then designate where these things are supposed to go now moving on to the piece de resistance check this out i have a floating white flower cool it's not a white flower though i don't no, know why it's purple. I, call it. I don't know why it's called floating white flower that's what i want to do as far as crafting today i'm going to come over here to this crafting bench that phoenix put in the world early on and i just thought that was so funny looking putting it under here so i thought okay we'll leave it there i needed a crafting table and, and I, I didn't have one and i added two chests beside it so let's get into here and what we're going to do is we're going to make a uh shimmering um let me find that on here so that i can pull the actual recipe up and i'm going to do what do we have here we have a mystical yellow flower so let me find the yellow one there we go Glimmering yellow flower. How do you make a glimmering yellow flower? 
Well, you put glowstone, which we went to the nether and, and got a bunch of glowstone and quartz. Two glowstone and one mystical flower. Okay, so let's go ahead and make that. Now check this out. Um, let's come up here and let's take this torch away. And this torch away. And now check it out. Put the flower down. Voila. Ooh. It's a light source. We can get rid of all these torches and we can put We, we can, can make put, a bunch of flowers. We can either do flowers like this, or we can do a little floating island things. Which to make floating island the floating flowers. Floating yellow flower. What you need is a glimmering yellow flower, which I have. You also need a pasture seed. How do you make a pasture seed? Well, you throw grass into a mana pool to make get your pasture seed. So let's do that. So we have grass, which just takes shears, and we're just gonna throw one of them in there to get one pasture seed. I'm gonna do a bunch of them though because I'm going to change these. I'm gonna do floating islands and and flowers both. But right now, let's pick this up, bring this over here, take this stuff out, and we're going to put pasture seed the oh where do, oh my flower oh wait a minute my flower either no since it's glimmering it probably went in here if you look at my thing you'll see that i have two flower baskets my flower basket filled up so i made another one and look at this all of your tall ones which will not go into your flower pouch it will go into your flower basket so i have all these tall ones that i picked and they would fill up your inventory fast. Which they did, because I did not have this when I was out and about trying to collect all the flowers, so I had an awful time with this. So, this is fabulous, because now they're all in this this flower basket. That's wonderful. Unfortunately, they're the exact same, so I'm putting one on one side of my inventory and one on the other. This is everything else, and this is the tall flowers. However, whatever you mine out there in the world, it will just go into the closest basket so pretty much everything's been going into this basket because it's on the on this side so maybe i should swap them i don't know but anyway let's get back to the glimmering flower you put your glimmering flower your pasture seed and then a piece of dirt and voila you have a floating yellow flower and i bet it's going to call it a white flower too but i'm going to place it right there in the world and look at there it's lit I just love this. I think it's so cool. So I am going to end up replacing these torches with either flowers or the floatings. Floating flowers, one or the other. So then we won't have all kinds of torches up everywhere. Cool. And I've made a bunch of wood and uh, living rock. Nice. Um, I've got over a stack. Um, yeah, over a stack of each. Cool. I just, I just keep harvesting them and making more. Um, uh, which that is, you know, that's normal. That's the same as always. The pure daisy is the same recipe as well. Right. Um, uh, but there we go. We've got the starting makings of Batania going on here. And a uh, couple of the new differences. There are quite a few new things in Batania. But I'm feeling like that I'm good, like going on and on here. And uh, so it's sort of overwhelming as the trying to pick and choose what do we say and what do we do because there are so there's much. just so it's much just to so do cool but there anyway is. i'm going to turn it over to you because cool. you've got a few new things to show as well i do i do oh before we before we do that can we show the magma thing we we, we went to the nether yes. we didn't want to record that because we've been in the nether so many times this nether by the way is actually a pleasant if you can call hell pleasant <laughs> <laughs> but it's a pleasant nether because it's a, just a, a regular Minecraft nether. However, there's this block right here. So I want to actually show this block. Um, so we need to allow it to get nighttime. And I want to show you guys what this does. If I walk on this, ouch, 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 ouch. Yeah, I'm not going to stay there because it hurts. Yeah. Right? So I decided to lay this down because over here... You can see the spots are here. So back in here, none of this stuff is lit up. So the bad guys come and they walk over here and they try to kill me. That's the reason why I put this cactus up here, trying to be just a tiny bit of a wall, but I didn't want to lock us in. But it does give them a tiny bit of security. 
And then when we came back from the nether, I thought, hmm, I wonder what this will do. So at nighttime, we are going to come over here and we are going to see what that does. Cool. So if you, would you go get more of it? What are you doing? Oh my God. Oh, that really does make a wall now. We have to jump though. That's okay. <laughs> okay. This is so, an idea. So put some here and here as well. That makes it, that makes it farther at least. That makes, there we go. There we go. That, Hup. that is like an invisible Hup. wall. Do you have two more? I do not. Oh, You'd have to think from your thing over oh, there. We, I can do that. But let's let's explain your stuff. Sure. Okay, so let's. I've been busy building. Yes, I know I should be have. working on the bridge, but I've been I've been making it a graveyard. Yeah, I'm seeing it. Look at this. What <laughs> is this? Let's go around the front. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'll just follow so, you. So this way. So we'll go the correct path. So we walk around over here, and I made a graveyard. Because, you know, when when the villagers die, they need some place to go, right? Right, exactly. Oh, there's light <laughs> spots here. I need one of those flowers. Ooh, you know what? You do I need those flowers. I should, I should make one and, and, and set it. Oh, there's spots over here, too. I should make one and set it, oh my gosh, I'm going to, and set it by the grave, so it's like we're putting flowers by the grave. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's a good idea. So, so I've used chisel and bits to make these what? Oh little my gravestones. Gosh. Seriously, you chiseled away? Yep. Oh I just my took a normal gosh. piece of stone and I chiseled it down and made little gravestones with it. Now, how did you get this, how did you get the rip in here? That's just taking single bits out. Oh my gosh. And then I used the positive chisel design to make duplicates of it. Oh, that's cool. Wow, you got a lot of graves here. Yep. And soul sand is your little... Everybody's been freshly buried, huh? <laughs> that's... that's uh. Yeah. So, why did you make this? Well, if we come to the mausoleum and... Here's something that's really cool. This is called a sneaky lever. A sneaky lever. Where is it? Because in my I don't see any lever. In my, it is really sneaky. It's so sneaky, it's in my hand, it's sneaky. Uh, place it down like that. What? And oh. then you can take a block and place over top of it. Oh my gosh, that's what a sneaky And then it lever works like is. a normal lever when you right click on it. So I have placed one above the door. So if Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> so you just click on the on the thing above the door. You can't hey, click on the chisel. Wait a minute. Oh, you can. This leaves the door open. Yeah, it so you go close. through and then you close it. Oh, that is so nice because usually levers, or buttons rather, make the door close again. Yeah, it's a lever. So it'll leave it open until you click ah. it. Again, we're going nope. to just slam the door in my face nope. thing? Seriously? Nope. nope. <sighs> Quick. Get in before he does it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue on. So then if you come downstairs. Oh, you did a like a rogue dungeon thing here. I did. Oh. Oh, this is kind of oh, scary. That block. I, am I gonna meet with my demise down here? Oh, no. Oh, I am. Nope. I could. No. Well, I could <laughs> if I did this much, I could. You could. Yeah. So I went ahead and made the blood altar, which the blood altar has changed a little bit as well. Uh, if I type in blood, blood altar needs the demonic will that I use the sword to get. Right. Two pieces of gold, some stone, and a furnace. So you got to use you got to use this sword to get that demonic will when you do not have one of the tartaric gems in your inventory. Right. Um, and get one of those wills to make this thing. Does that sword work a lot better than those things you throw? The things I throw. Yeah. Yes, it does. It, yeah, you don't. Either. You I'm don't sorry, have don't. to do it within a few seconds. You I'm can sorry. just. I don't remember the name. The snares, the rudimentary snares. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh huh. And it um, works a lot better than that. And that will get you your demonic will by using that sword. Correct. Will it happen every time? Yes. Ooh. That's nice. Yes. So as long as you're using that sword, it will happen every time. 
Oh, okay. And does it matter who you're targeting? Uh, it has to be an enemy mob, but otherwise, no. Okay, so it cannot be a passive. It has to be an aggressive mob. Correct. Okay. Yep. Ooh. So I'm going to go ahead and use this 10 times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Woo. And you have. Whoa, you are red, but you're regening too. But you literally turn Thanks. red. Oh, you're turning red. Um, you are turning red, I'm saying. Weird. That is weird. And now I'm going to place a piece of stone into here. Boop. And give it an extra. Boop. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And that's going to make a blank slate. Haha! -ha! Blank slate. Blank. Oh, I, you know what? I forgot a piece of redstone, but that's okay. So if I come over here. Then place my Tartartic gem in inside. In fire forge. Uh huh. Okay. And then I place in redstone, coal, a piece of bone meal, and gunpowder. Mm hmm. That's gonna make alchemical ashes. Oh. Okay. Right. All right. Now, because I forgot, redstone will be right back and will be upstairs. Okay. So you have your redstone. What do you need it for? I got my redstone because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this on the ground. Oh, okay. And I'm going to hit it. The, wait a minute. How did you do... Oh, that's the... Okay, I got it. That's, that's, the, that's, the that's what I made, made in the Hellforge. Okay. I'm going to place a piece of redstone on it and All a right. blank slate. Okay. Now, it's what's it What's it doing? What's it it doing? is making a division sigil. What? Ta-da! Oh, my gosh. That's how you make the sigils in this now. That's wow. also how you make the living armor that we're going to get to eventually. Oh, that's cool. Um, oh, I don't have the stuff quite yet to be able to make that. That's cool. But that makes the division sizzle. Division sizzle tells me how much is in my network, and if I right-click in on that altar, right. it will tell me how much is in the altar. Right. Yeah, that's a cool way to make it now. Yep. That is cool. Hey, it's nighttime. Let's go over before we leave. Uh, let's come over here, and back here we will find some bad guys, I'm sure. Oh, I'm uh, sure. There's got to be somebody Up. back here. Up. Hi, spider. It's Oh, yeah, there we go. Hey, hey. Um, I don't know. Oh, spiders will just jump. They don't care. Okay, so that's not a good... All right, let me go find another guinea pig here. Come on, where's a zombie or a creeper? <laughs> Zo oh, zombie. There we go. Hey, zombie. Zombie! Hey, hey look, zombie. Oh, there's a creeper, too. Come there's on. a creeper. Come Behind on, you. guys. Oh, Come creeper's on, gonna guys. blow up your zombie. Oh... Don't do that. Come on, guys. Come on, I need you to come over here. Come on, keep following. Don't hit them. Let, just let them follow us. Why did you not, why did you kill that? Now that zombie's not following us anymore. No, the zombie's following. I just wanted to get rid of the creeper because he was going to blow up the zombie. Wee. But not if you stay back. He won't. Now check it out. The creeper. Now look at this. They're intelligent. They go around <laughs> this. I thought this was so funny because they're like, oh, okay, I have to go around this. They will not pass through it. They will walk around it. I just thought that was <laughs> so funny. He's even walking like, around oh with the cactuses. God. Yeah, it's just crazy. Yeah, that's because <laughs> that's because the let him come, let him get closer to you. Um, where'd he go? He's at the corner. He's right there. Now he's coming toward me. I'm wanting to get him to come all the way around here. There we go. See? <laughs> he's after you. I know that. I'm, I'm messing with him. He's gotta get you. He won't. Where'd he go? I lost him. Where is he? There he is. Hello. Oh, he didn't know what to do. See? <laughs> That's so cool. I just think this is so funny because... Where'd he go? I lost him again. Oh, there he is. I just think this is so funny. I wanted to show it because... It, and... Our new swords that you bit, that you made for us. Yep. Um, so many things. I seriously advise anybody to look at materials in you. Tinker's construct has massively changed. Yes, it um, has. So There's no read materials in you. All the things are different. There are no 
um, big mag- major ways to add modifiers now. Correct. You can actually only add modifiers if you use a paper product yes. in your creation of your tools. Because the three ways to add a modifier do not exist any longer. Nope. However, you can upgrade your materials, so that sort of compensates. I don't know. You could start out with but a iron pickaxe and then turn it into a manual and pickaxe. You cannot make a paper tool, use all of its modifiers, and then switch it for something else. Right. Once you've used a modifier, then that's it. You've sort of locked it in. That way you're done. So yep. you can't bleed the system for that, I guess you call <laughs> yep. it. Um, but, uh, oh, I also made a fruit salad. The trees Ooh, outside have little flowers on them. And so, um, there we go. Sometimes they'll drop a peach or a pear. And so if you take peaches, pears, and apples into a bowl, you can get a fruit salad. So Yummy. I made us a couple of fruit salads. I also made us some cheeseburgers too, which cheeseburgers are a good uh, source. Um, I I was down like five um, meat thingies, chicken. I think I was down like whatever. five and a half, and it still filled me up too. Yeah. So the cheeseburgers are really good. Yep. Um, and here comes a look. This look at this gold. <laughs> he has to walk all the way around. <laughs> That's so funny. I love it. Oh my gosh. We can put a fence gate in right here. And they they will they will not pass through there. If we put a fence true. gate. We could we do put a fence gate like right in here. We can get know, rid of these guys. On both sides. Um, yes. Uh, and they will, nobody will pass through here because they'll be they'll be too afraid to. And then we can put these put here, right there, and then and there you go. Now it's completely secure. Now and they will only a, be able to go one way. And we can put a fence gate down there. So yep. that's cool. Well, we're all sealed in because I really didn't want to do. All of that lighting it up, that is. I am going to clear the place for ender pearls. Or cool. not, ender lily seeds, yep. I should say. But I'm going to use a Batania article for that. Ooh, wonder what that. that's going to be. Can't wait to do that one. But I think that's going to be it. All right. I'm Froggy Lumpy. And I'm Phoenix Animator. Thanks ever so much for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Bye.